14 people dead in the last two weeks. Where is Omar Abdullah? That's the big question all of Kashmir and perhaps all of India is asking, given the spiraling violence we've seen in the valley over the last fortnight. Shujaul Haq now joins us from Srinagar. For the first time since 1991, the army was deployed for a law and order responsibility in Srinagar city. And yet, Shuja, we haven't heard anything from the chief minister so far. What's going on? Where is Omar Abdullah? Well, uh, Zaka, that's the big question that almost everyone is right now asking in Kashmir Valley. While uh, this uh, entire uh, entire crisis is going on, where exactly is the chief minister? You know, this uh, a lot of questions have been asked as as far as uh, his capability of handling a situation like this in Kashmir are concerned. Uh, at the first place, uh, uh, when he came to he came in front of media just a week back. Uh, that was that was seen as as, as if a, a measure which was actually uh, very late. He should have uh, actually come come before the media and before the people very 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 early in the uh, beginning of this entire controversy. And first thing that he should have done, which a lot of political pundits are actually suggesting that he should have first thing he should have done is apologized and said sorry to the lot to the people yeah. who have lost their young ones. But instead of doing that, he took his own sweet time. Uh, after uh, uh, letting this entire uh, controversy boil up and after a good one week he comes out in open and says okay uh, now what we what we're going to do is we're going to do a, a damage control we'll impose curfews and whosoever defies the curfew will have to face the brunt he also said sorry he also apologized to the people but that was in a very subtle tone and most of the people uh, took it as too uh, late and uh, a response from somebody like a uh, chief minister who is the highest authority of the state and, and will this move the move to deploy the army for a law and order responsibility something which we haven't seen in almost a decade and a half now will it further backfire will it will it further alienate the Kashmiri youth who've been leading this this protest over the last two weeks or so further alienate them from the mainstream and therefore lead to more violence well, that's the that, that, that's the big uh, big uh, question mark right now on this entire decision of bringing in uh, the army uh, in in taking out uh, a flag march and uh, controlling the law and order situation in Kashmir is concerned. This question has been asked not only by us, not only by the media, not only by uh, the local people, but a lot of political parties are also catching up on this. Uh, earlier, when we spoke to the PDP uh, chief uh, Mehbooba Mufti, her first contention, first attack was that this is not done. We have been talking about demilitarizing this place we've been talking about uh, you know limiting the armed forces special powers act and look okay. uh, what the chief minister has done is he's brought in the army uh, that is something which I uh, personally feel that would would uh, give a perfect fodder for the uh, opposition and all those parties who are against Omar Abdullah to play around in the next few days okay we'll wait and see how uh, this plays around because clearly uh, the manner in which this entire crisis has been ineptly handled by the Omar Abdullah administration. It's given reason for his critics, whether it's separatists or whether it's mainstream opposition parties in Kashmir, to really go after uh, his administration. For the moment, Shujaul Haq, thanks very much for joining us uh, from Srinagar.